Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how to find paid acting. Today I'm going to be talking about how to find paid acting opportunities for people who don't have an agent. So let me just make the disclaimer that I do have an agent. I'm actually freelancing with two local talent agencies in the state of Virginia. But this is what I do in between receiving auditions from them. I do actually go out, hit the ground running, and try to find my own auditions in order to keep working. I'm not in an exclusive agreement, which means that I don't have to only receive work from them. I can actually go out and work for other people as well. So I do have a few sites that I utilize in order to find non-union work. And actually, I do find a few SAG opportunities on this site as well. So this video should be really short because I'm just going to list through all the sites and all the things that I use really quickly. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, the first that I use is called Dragonets Connects. So if you're in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, you probably have heard of them. And they just list acting opportunities for TV and film and um, also industrials. And then there's also a lot of play, plays and that kind of thing. A lot of stage and theater as well, auditions on that site. And so you can just go up there. You do have to create a profile in order to view the content. But it's free, completely free to sign up. And when you sign up, you get to put your resume up and also your picture. So all of that is free and you get to submit. And so I haven't had a need to pay for anything on the site because I've been, I've gotten quite a few roles just from being signed up with my headshot and resume. And then the casting calls that they send out, it's a direct submission. So you don't even have to go through the site for them to see your headshot and resume. They put up their email and you just email them directly so that's one of the sites i utilize and i think it's really good it's been working so far and the second site i use is actors access which a lot of actors use um you do have to pay for that site that site does cost it's like i think it's like it's like 99 cents i'm not sure i believe it's like a dollar every time you submit but it's like a dollar per like a dollar per thing so if i send my headshot is a dollar and if I also decide to send my resume it's another dollar and then like if I decide to send a demo reel it's another dollar I hope I'm not messing it up it's it cost me like five time like five dollars every time I submit so yeah yearly subscription is like a hundred and something dollars but if you can you can also decide to just pay every time you submit and so far for me since I don't submit often it makes more sense for me to just pay per submission and that site is very is very reputable. I've seen some really, really good stuff up there. I've seen some major motion pictures, um, casting, some casting directors up there who were shooting major motion pictures, some stuff. And you can find casting calls by region. So you just type in New York or Los Angeles or Mid Atlantic or Southeast or um, Central and all that kind of stuff. And they'll show you what the casting calls are for that particular area and I think that that's a really cool site and it's some pretty nice stuff up there so if you don't have an agent you can definitely go on that site and find you some pretty good work assuming that you have the appropriate materials because it's from my understanding that people with videos shoot to the top of the list so you want to have a slate video you want to have a demo reel you want to have your headshots and you want to have your resume everything in place so that they don't take you alphabetically in case you're first or last name begins with a Z and they take you from the people who have everything first or so I've heard. So they take the people who have all the materials in line and then they take the people alphabetically after that. The next thing I use is Facebook actually. I just joined a few Facebook groups and I, there are always tons of casting calls and information on there about local people who are looking for people for their short film or project and that I use mostly not necessarily for paying gigs because they don't pay much or they don't pay at all but when I'm trying to build my demo reel or trying to expand my resume I do go in there and find little projects that I can do that are local so I have a Facebook group called Virginia Actors Forum there's always auditions on there I also follow the Virginia filmmakers the creative minds of Hampton Roads and I find a lot of opportunities on there I find another group called Industry Casting Calls and that's just not from Virginia, that's from all across the United States. Uh, people who are looking for people for their specific projects. Also, Actors Connection, which is a site that I use to find classes or intensives 
with casting directors they also have like a slot for casting calls where you can go and see who's um, looking for people at the moment you do also have to have a registration to utilize that site as well but it's also free and doesn't cost you anything finally word of mouth um, I get in contact with other actors I call around find out who's doing what um, a couple of the filmmakers I know I reach out to them sporadically and say hey I'm anything coming up um, just to let them hear my voice and remember my face and let it click to say oh, okay yeah I remember working with you yeah sure we have something you can come out on so and so's date or they'll say no we don't really have anything right now but it was good to hear from you that kind of thing so word of mouth is always the way to go and that is all that I have for this video and I hope that you found it helpful in some way and you guys go out and get great work <laughs> see you guys next time bye